Welcome to members of the Waverley Singers. I thought it might be fun seeing as we're not allowed to meet in person to do some kind of uh, remote virtual rehearsals or chats about the B minor mass and maybe as time goes on some other pieces um, in order to kind of give you something to do musically on a Thursday evening, um, make up for our rehearsals and keep us all in touch. I very much welcome your comments and any suggestions. I hope this works for you. What I'm going to do is to uh, make some videos and talk about little aspects of the piece and then intersperse that with some extracts from a YouTube uh, performance from the proms of 2012 using a period orchestra, um, which uh, is a good, very good performance and I hope will give you an idea of what the piece is like with orchestra. So just looking at this very beginning, the first four bars, we've obviously rehearsed it and we know how it goes. But Bach's clearly setting out something uh, of, of his stall here in terms of how big this piece is going to be. It's a very long piece. It's, uh, this first movement is um, of kind of epic proportions, a bit like other works that he's done, the, the John Passion and the St Matthew Passion. They both start with really quite extended choruses. One thing which I think is interesting about how he starts the B minor mass is how strongly he sets the harmonic uh, framework out for this piece. So the basses start us, of course, with the keynote of B in the key of B minor. There's their note and there's their chord. So we have this lovely scale that they start. They start on a low B and they climb up an octave by the third bar and then resolve downwards to an F sharp, which is the dominant of key of the key of B minor. Dominant means it's the kind of second most important key. So if this is the key B minor, this is the dominant key. And you feel that's very strong related, it wants to resolve back. So what Bach does is he sets out this lovely rising bass line and immediately from the word go it's very expressive very kind of plaintive in the way he's setting this text, Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. And he sets up dissonances all the time. If you look at the um, second soprano part, which is also doubling um, by uh, what the flutes, uh, the second flutes and the second oboe d'amore have, he sets up this lovely dissonance in the, as soon as the basses move. You can feel that wants to resolve. And he does another one, which again resolves. And then the first sopranos take up the, the idea. Another dissonance. Another one here. Then it resolves. So from that dominant key, we then set up the next section. Also, the first violins have this echo, this idea of the scale the basses have with this, melody, this little fragment they have in the fourth bar. So, if you now listen to the next video, that'll show what these four bars sound like with orchestra.